How are we doing folks? Welcome to another unboxing with Big Maccabee, Pop Ginger and of course have a Merry Merry Christmas because that is the time of year we're working with and that is specifically the reason for today's video. What we have is a return to Demise Collectibles, the Aid for Leo Numbers and these were their recent, and I say recent, these came out I think pre-order like back in October, November, somewhere around there. But these were their $9.99 Christmas mystery boxes. So one single Funko Pop for $9.99. Like I said, I think I, I pre-ordered these. I believe I pre-ordered three. Can't even count my own fingers. That's the babies. Meow. I believe I pre-ordered three. And these were sent out early to mid-December. And have arrived. Now, I don't remember many of the pulls that were available, but one I do specifically remember that I was hoping I may get, you never know, might get lucky, was a flocked Krampus. Because that little beauty would go nicely in my collection. And that would make for a cracking little Christmas for me. But without further ado, let's turn into the package as soon as I figure out, there it is, where the flaps are. So what's everybody else hoping to get for Christmas? Or if you're watching this after Christmas, already gotten for Christmas? Drop a comment down below also. For anyone that's watching this on the day of release, tomorrow I will be, as long as I can film it in time, be dropping it. It'll only be a short video, two or three minutes on the channel, to show off my first SDCC 2013 pop that I got as a Christmas present from a couple of friends. And I, I know it's not Christmas Day yet, but we already arranged for that. So that's how I know I'm getting the goodies. That and I placed the order. Coming from none other than the pop figures at Artcom. There we go. All right, let's have a look. Okay. This has some festivity to it. They've all been individually wrapped. And even have name tags attached to them so do they all say the same thing yep they all say the same thing so it says to macaulay that's me big mac be pop ginger merry popmas from demise collectibles well merry popmas back to you and a happy new year i couldn't think of a pop related one for that so i'm just gonna go with a new year so let's just check it so we have funko number one funko number two and a Funko number three. That's some added customer care there. I like that. And then we have the usual advertisements for their power up packs and their Demise Family YouTube channel. And if I remember, I shall link their channel in one of those clicky things above. And if not, you can just find them at Demise Family on YouTube. So let's have a little look here. Let's have a little feel. Do they all feel the same? They all feel about the same weight. So I don't think there's any any way to differentiate between them. So let's just uh, figure out how to unwrap this. There we go. I'm going to unwrap it from that section there. Ooh. Must be the old Christmas tradition as a kid. Unwrapping a present early. So they're all in plastic protectors. So let's just, ooh. there we go. What did we get? Okay, so the first one we're pulling, we pulled a Funko Shop exclusive Jingles. I think this was, I think I saw this in Cyber Monday or something, like a year or two ago. I think they had like one of their massive bundles or 12 pops of Christmas, something like that. That is a Funko shop and a, what was it, a spastic plastic, their name, not mine, that I don't already own. So, not bad. Funko shop for a tenner, I can work with them numbers. Not a bad first pull. Put that safely behind me. Uh, let's mix it up, we're going to go for the red this time. Just got to cut a couple of these ribbons, otherwise I'm going to struggle. There we go. And cut my own finger open while I'm at it. Fun times. Right, let's find a little lip or something. 
Got a... Hello. Uh, what do we got? Okay. This one, Summit Disney. We have a Christmassy mini moose. And the options for these ones were a Mickey, a Minnie, a Winnie the Pooh, and a Pig Alert. Not too shabby. What year was this one? Is this the, one of the newest ones? or Looks like 2019, possibly. Not 100%. But again, it's not something I collect, but we're having a little fun with a Christmas mystery box. And that'll do. Diddly diddly. I know people that will enjoy that kind of thing. That no doubt. I can Christmas it. Final chapter. One slicey slicey. Two slicey slices. Three slicey slices. And I've already slicey slicey that one. So let's finish her off strong. I'm not gonna. Oh. There we go, that one of them. I'm one of those just tear into it kind of people. Just as soon as I can find. There we go. Oh, where is it? There it is. And what do we get for the final pull? Go. Oh, so we didn't pull the Krampus I was hoping for, but we did pull two of the Disney ones. Though this one has come with a very dirty box and some bad, pretty bad creasing damage all along there. Not the happiest way to end the video, I'll be honest. I do like my boxes minty when I'm paying for them, but hey ho, these things unfortunately do happen, I guess, even though that is very clearly put in there that way. That's a bit of a dour note to end it on. Ah oh, well. Shit happens. So let's just recap the finals. So our three pulls we received are a piglet, unfortunately slightly damaged, a, a mini muse, and a jingles. I gotta be honest, this one's my favourite, just because he's unique outside of Disney. And it looked kinda cool. And it's got a hook on his head. I could probably actually hang that on the tree. That'd be thug life. So folks, that's everything I had for you in this Christmas Eve video. And I'm about to film another video for my Movie Madness channel. But the fun part is that I have no idea what it is I'm actually going to film. Intriguing. Head on over to find out what I actually came up with. So until next time, folks, stay safe, have a good day, and of course, live that pop fanatic life. I'll see you in a bit.